How's it going everyone? It's uh, Saturday morning and I'm here with the cockling ripping up some uh, ground that had some maize in as you can see so it's X maize ground I've had spuds in this field before probably like what five years ago now and uh, yeah I'm just in here with the cockling breaking it up a bit ripping it up so that when it comes to be ploughed it's a little bit looser you see I'm um, doing some cuts some GPS cuts and uh, yeah it's quite a I think Ben's on ploughing well he is on ploughing Dad's fertiliser spin in the grass which I would maybe be doing but plans have changed like they do always do so yeah I'm on this I'll put you on my head and then you'll be able to see what I'm seeing so I'm doing it in cuts Seems to be a perfect cut. Just mixing it up a bit, making it a bit more funner. I've got another uh, field that was in maize to do, which thinks smaller than this one. And then I've got two fields of ours, which were grass and we've burnt them off and we're gonna grow seed in there for the spuds, so, because because they've been grass so they like to have wire worm in it and uh, they're not good for the spuds but if it's going to be seed potatoes then that's fine so that's what I'm doing today just a bit of an easy day but still doing something not having the day off I think yeah Jim and Bob are on planting spuds they're on early this morning but yes, it's ripping up quite nicely. It's doing the job, doing what it's meant to be doing. Probably get the drone up in a bit. I'll show you what it's looking like from above. Break the uh, video up a little bit. If you uh, like the videos of the drone, then uh, it'd be useful if you could uh, leave a comment saying that. See, the view duration is going up almost most of the videos being watched by the average viewer so that's good the channel is also growing really well which is amazing to see so i'm going to keep trying my best to film showing you what i'm up to and yeah feel free to ask questions in the comments leave a like and subscribe that would be much appreciated so here we go I'm finished the first field up and then went to the second one and uh <laughs> turns out that it's grass that's been burnt off but hasn't been renovated so it definitely needs to be renovated before we use the cockling on it but here i am i've now come to uh some of our own ground they recently got to so this here and the field over there was in grass but we've uh burnt it off and we've renovated it so we're good to go with the cockling got to check that all the feet are good which they appear to be because they're dura face so they shouldn't actually wear down that quickly covered a few acres with it i mean i might need to after this field but apart from that it's good easter sunday everyone happy easter and uh i've got a couple hours work this morning um rolling down What's it? Yeah, rolling down the ploughing. Keep a bit of moisture in it, break it up a bit. So, let me just check my oil. Because she needs to have oil. Plenty in her. So, so yeah, just a couple hours this morning doing this. Oh. And uh, yeah, it's about 15 minute drive to get there. 15 minutes to get there, and uh, probably take me a couple hours, for two hours or something. And then that's me done for the day. 
So, keeping me a little bit busy, getting me out of the house. And uh, I don't know how much of it I'll film because it's only rolling, but if not, I'll see you tomorrow. So it's uh, 22 on Tuesday. I'm here with the rotator on. My brother has just finished um, flat lifting in here. It was a it was a grass field and we burnt it off. And uh, that's what it's looking like out the back. Fairly dusty. The ground's dry now at the minute. Not much moisture in it, but it's still a bit cloddy even after we renovated it. But yeah, we're going to be working the ground and it's still going to be there. But the de stone will get rid of it. When it's getting rid of the stone, so that'll be fine. I think this is probably what I'm doing this afternoon. I've been here, had my YouTube on. If you've been watching some YouTube, just relaxing because we're only going two miles an hour, so quite slow and steady. Not much else to do. So, yeah, I think Cooper was doing a bit of grass work earlier, and I think my brother is then going to be ripping some more spud ground and tube is then going to be rotor spiking I think. Big and Cruz finishing up some headlands and then that's another block of land finished. So yeah we're just sort of getting this ready for uh, when they come over here really. So the next stage for this field is to be ploughed. Uh, there's a field up the road which I um, was in maize and I was in there on Saturday I think with the cockling so break that up so that's ready to be ploughed so there's four fields here nearby here which are like sort of the last four fields really that will be done planted there's two fields that the digging crew will stop in stop off at and plant on the way back from where they are so yeah we've covered most of the ground now and we're almost near the end so couple more weeks and we'll be done with the spud jobs. So then we'll be on to grass, a bit of silage, a few cattle jobs. Wednesday morning 20 to 12 and I am about to hitch up this load of fertiliser and uh, take it to the 27 acre on our main cow farm. It's a field that I um, worked over with the coppling. probably five videos ago, so a long time ago, because Dad changed the plans. And uh, initially was it, well, it was going to plant it in spuds. And then, uh, then he decided not to, but he's changed his mind again. So he's changed his mind again and now he's decided that we are going to plant spuds in it. So yeah, I'm taking this down there and then he's going to come and uh, fertilise the spinet in a minute. So uh, I spent yesterday evening hauling uh, empty seed trailers back and um, Cooper and Ben are on ripping and rotor spiking the fields I rolled on the weekend and uh, so the, the digging crew will pop in on the way back to the 27 acre we've been packing this morning there's a uh, got the digger here scraping out the stone where the new shed's going to be going because Dad wasn't happy with what they'd done, so they're changing that. So I might be on the dump trailer later on, moving soil. And then, so once I've done this, drop this off. It's going to take me probably 10 minutes. I've got to go down to our local mechanic, pick up a few parts, put a new oil pipe on the grass tether. Um, or grass rake and then I will be doing that for a bit just getting rid of the weeds and stuff and some of the grass fields which will be grazed for the cattle so that's what my afternoon's like sort of hanging around the 
the main farm here. Season, so yeah, I'm just hanging around the farm really, sort of just waiting to hear if the digger wants me to be on the dump trailer or not. But I would, yeah, so I was renovating yesterday, so really we're just sort of waiting for Ben to go ploughing next. But that's what I'm going to be doing today, and I'll probably film most of it as I go along. So this afternoon, I'm on the dump trailer and uh, we're here digging out the site for our new shed. We're actually, uh, yeah, so we're moving, we put some stone down on it for um, the winter because they were meant to come and start doing some stuff during the winter. So we thought we'd put the stone down so that it didn't get all messy. But now that it's dry and then well, they were going to come here, but they were building a dairy parlour and that went on a bit longer than they thought. Um, and now they're revving up to come back here on Monday. So, yeah, we're just digging the stone off and digging some soil down. And I'm just bringing it along here along our farm track and tipping it here on the left, uh, where we were tipping soil in the winter just to, because this bit here on the lower side of the track has always been like lower. So we want to um, like raise it up a bit, make it level and then probably eventually turn this into like a trailer park sort of area. Because where we're building our new shed is where our trailer park is. And the shed is sort of uh, fertilizer and stuff and also a machinery shed in the other half. But that's for like, our potato equipment that like needs to be stored in out of the uh, rain and stuff during the winter so on this new bit of land here we'd park like trailers and just stuff like that which you know, like doesn't really matter about so that's what I'm doing this afternoon just tipping soil I'd say we've probably done about half of it now so but the only thing is is there's not much room here to uh tip any more soil so I think they'll have to come out here and level it off a bit in a minute so that we can tip a bit more got my camera on here so I can see him uh, loading up which is uh, probably the first bit of use that camera's had since I've fixed it or had it fit I might get the drone up in the air, but sort of concentrating on doing this really. And now that I'm having to reverse in the track, it'll be a bit of a faff to uh, have the drone up in the air. I think Cooper's just come back and he's going grass raking. So uh, he's doing that. I was meant to start that before this, but the digger driver got on with it fairly well. So, I came straight on this job. I'll probably uh, try and get a bit of the uh, digger working. Then that'll probably be it. That'll be today sort of finished. So I'll probably pick the video up tomorrow. And film whatever I'm doing. Oh, man. Made a meal of it here while I'm trying to record and talk. Yeah, Ben's gone off with the plough as well, so he's uh, ploughing over a bit more land, so they'll be cultivating to do the uh, digger that we're, that we're using. See, it's uh, New Holland. I think it says B110. So, uh, yeah, this is just a farmer that also does a bit of digger work. So he's on that. And yeah, this is, uh, we've had to move this stone up here, they have to get in here. And yeah, this is what my uh, afternoon's looking like. 